Hey guys, so I'm not coming on here to be another YouTuber, um, but I do feel led on a soul level to share, um, start sharing my thoughts and um, share things that I discover resonate with me and that have been seriously empowering for me. And so my hope is that, you know, worst case scenario, this could be entertaining and humorous. Best case scenario, it could be seriously encouraging and empowering. And um, a lot of my friends know that when I make these huge discoveries that, you know, I'm usually late to the party. So <laughs> I may um, share a lot of things that you know, it's obvious that I'm late to the party, but it's blown my mind and I very well can't hold it back. So anyway, um, with that said, I um, kind of wanted to share something that I read about a week or so ago um, as I'm studying in one of my psychology classes. And um, it is a Chinese, um, not really a Chinese proverb, but it's a Chinese sage who shares this proverbial poem. And um, in this poem, he talks about um, kind of confronting the things about ourselves that make us uncomfortable. And um, so I, I feel like if, if we're honest with ourselves and um, others, then I think all of us can probably say there are things about ourselves, things in ourselves um, that make us really uncomfortable, things that we do not want to confront, things we don't want to address, things we don't want to deal with, things that we would just rather run from and do run from. I feel like though in the running from the things in ourselves that make us uncomfortable, um, it causes our lives to kind of be very much derailed and dysfunctional. Um, it causes our lives to be less peace-filled. Um, it causes our relationships to be strained and um, just causes our lives to just be less in general. And um, so I've always been big on self-awareness because I feel like self-awareness is... Um, it's kind of rare and I have found that a lot of people don't think about why they do what they do, why they think what they think. Like it's not common for people to think about what they're thinking about. And um, that's something I always like to provoke in others is a sense of um, hey, why am I thinking what am I thinking? Why am I behaving the way that I'm behaving? Um, and just really get people to to search within themselves. Um, but anyway, before I go on a rabbit trail, I want to share this um, poem with you. The guy's name is Chuang C. And he says, There was a man who was so disturbed by the sight of his own shadow and so displeased with his own footsteps that he determined to get rid of both. The method he hit upon was to run away was to run away from them. So he got up and he ran. But every time he put his foot down there was another step while his shadow kept up with him without the slightest difficulty. He attributed his failure to the fact that he was not running fast enough. So he ran faster and faster without stopping until he finally dropped dead. He failed to realize that if he merely stepped into the shade, his shadow would vanish. And if he sat down and stayed still, there would be no more footsteps. Okay, so there's a lot of points in this that I would love to touch on. But um, kind of the overarching theme and the big takeaway of this for me is the fact that he observed something about himself that made him uncomfortable. It was something he was displeased with. And in his mind, the only answer, the only logical answer to 
um, deal with that was to run from it. And I have found that if we're really honest with ourselves, probably all of us can say that there are things um, within us that make us uncomfortable, things that um, are hard to acknowledge um, about ourselves, such as like, you know, I think I even mentioned like unhealthy coping mechanisms and um, stuff like that. So anyway, the answer for him was to just run, run as hard as he could, run as fast as he could, and just essentially get away from his shadow because it really displeased him. It displeased him to the point he was willing to die and drop dead rather than deal with it and rather than look for other ways to um, address the things that he found about himself that displeased himself. And um, so I have found that um, over the years, I've always tried to be super self-aware. And the older I get, the more able, for lack of a better word, the more able that I am, the more I strive to be able to just kind of sit with the things about myself that make me uncomfortable. Um, to sit with my perceived weaknesses, my failings, my flaws, uh, my, uh, my unhealthy coping mechanisms. And um, because I don't want to spend my life um, kind of wondering or even having others wonder where where I'm at, so to speak. And um, so anyway, I, I basically just wanted to share this to just kind of prompt and provoke and encourage you to get quiet, step into the shade, and know that um, it's okay to rest and sit with the things about yourself. Um, that you know need to be dealt with and I think that you will find that it's not in the running but it's in the rest where you will find the answers and the solutions that you need to deal with some of the, um, the hard things about yourself so um, you know in light saying all that I I'm a big um, I don't know, proponent. I'm a big pusher of self-love because I know that self-hatred is so subtle that we more often than not do not recognize um, the self-hatred that we have for ourselves. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's my thoughts for this evening and um, I hope that they will um, maybe carry into a time of self-reflection for you, a time of self-discovery, um, because self-discovery is um, it's a very empowering, empowering and adventurous kind of a thing. So, so do that. But um, anyway, more to come probably. And thank you for your patience with me. Bye.